Hey guys, so today we're going to be making something from this cookbook, which is the Asian Grandmother's Cookbook. Um, there are a lot of amazing recipes that I wanted to try, and I thought I'd start off with something simple, which is the marble tea egg. So let's jump right in. You'll need eight eggs, half a cup of soy sauce, three black tea bags, four star anise pods, and one cinnamon stick. In a large saucepan, arrange the eggs in a single layer. Cover with water and bring to a boil over medium-high heat. Remove the pan from the heat, cover, and let it stand for 15 minutes. You'll want to run ice-cold water through the eggs or keep them submerged in ice water. When the eggs are cool enough to handle, tap each one gently with the back of a teaspoon to make fine cracks on the surface of the shell. Try to keep the shells intact and make sure not to overcrack them. In the same saucepan, bring three cups of fresh water to a boil over high heat. Add the soy sauce, star anise, tea bags, and cinnamon stick. Reduce the heat to medium low and using a spoon, carefully lower the eggs one by one into the tea. If the eggs are not completely submerged, you can add more water. Cover and simmer for 2 hours. After the 2 hours, remove the saucepan from the heat and let the eggs sit in the tea liquid on the stove for another hour. Ta-da! And it's all done! So this will make a total of 8, but I thought I would just wrap 2 of them. Um, just so you can see them side by side. It's actually pretty amazing. It really is marbled and the cracks look great. This one actually turned out a little darker than the other one one that's right beside it but um, it smelled just like tea eggs when I was making them so I'm expecting them to taste the same but I don't know we'll see so I'm gonna eat one ah. mmm okay oh this is bitter <laughs> the yolk of course tastes like yolk mm. I think I really do have to steep a little longer. Honestly, it's pretty good. When you first bite into it, it's kind of like, it kind of just tastes like a regular egg, but you let the flavors kind of sit on your tongue a little bit, and you realize there's a bit of a smoky flavor, which is caused by the star anise the tea, and the, like, well, we have the cinnamon gives it a natural sweetness. But yeah. Mmm, turns out pretty good. Now, I imagine if you steep it a little longer, you're supposed to steep it in the fridge for like another two hours. I just wanted to eat it and test it out and see how it is, but it turns out really good. Um, it's actually really simple. You only need a few ingredients. The only thing is it takes a lot of time, which I know not a lot of people have, but I mean, you know, it's a great um, classic, really, marble tea eggs. And I remember eating these... Um, Growing up, when I went to Chinatown with my family, we would come out of the parking lot and there was like this little stall that would sell like um, like fish balls, beef balls, and like curry, and then they'd have the tea eggs, and then my mom would get the tea eggs every time, so one for everybody. So this brings back a lot of memories as well. But yeah, try it out. Since this one is from a cookbook that I have, I will not only list the ingredients, but also list out the steps, which are a little long, but you know what? You guys are worth it. So if you want to make it on your own, the description's down below. So like, subscribe, and until next time, bye!